my name is Eric Ray. I'm a concealed handgun instructor in Texas. I've been doing it approximately eight years since 2002. I've actively been doing it for five years, uh, local range in Dallas. Passionate about what I do. Uh, the reason I actually am a concealed handgun instructor is I had an event that happened in 2001 where on my way home from work in Plano, I actually walked into an armed robbery in broad daylight. I uh, caught a kid that was at the wrong place at the wrong time, was shoplifting, and I actually followed him out, and he came back in with a gun. And no shots were fired, he got away, I caught him later, and he actually went to trial, and went to jail, he's doing 25 to life in Huntsville. Life-changing event, if you will. I uh, had a license in 96 when the program first started, carried off and on, kind of lost interest, and one day my life changed in a split, of a, a split second. And my whole thought process started changing and I became actively interested in being a concealed handgun instructor. I'm very passionate, like I said, about what I do and I've been teaching for five and a half to six years, basically doing between eight to ten classes a month. One of the questions I frequently get is, what does it take to get a CHL in the state of Texas? Texas is what they call a shall issue state. They will let any individual actually take the class, and then they decide if you are eligible to receive the license. The class basically is a 10 hour course of instruction. It's eight hours in the classroom, and basically an hour and a half to two hours on the range. We do it all in one day, it's 10 hours. Uh, show up, we have all the paperwork, fingerprints, pictures, everything needed. Take the class, you pass both tests, and then you mail your paperwork off to the state. And then approximately two to three months later, you will get a license to carry concealed in Texas. A basic initial license is good for four years, and then a renewal license is good every five years. So the cost is very minimal. Um, the fee to the state is $140. That covers a licensing. That's good for four years. And then the range fee varies on basically $120 to $140. But it's a one-stop shop. We do everything there for you. We provide everything. You just show up, 10 hours of your life, and then you're ready to go. One of the other questions I usually get is, Eric, I don't know how to shoot a gun. Eric, I don't know anything about the program. Uh, we teach everything in the class. Really, there's no preparation needed. The state of Texas actually does issue a book, and they change these laws every two years. Uh, when you show up, we will actually give you the book, and we go over this in class. It's basically 70 pages. It's got all your force laws in there, when deadly force is justified, where you can, where you can't carry, uh, eligibility, requirements to get a handgun license, and everything. So simply put, everything is in the book, it's, it's there for you readily, available, and we provide that when you show up to class. There's really no right or wrong answer. I've learned by trial and error. I used to be paranoid, carried a fanny pack, full-size six hour with three extra magazines. Carried 70 bullets. To make it even more comical, I carried a second backup gun on my left inside ankle. Yes, I was angry and paranoid, uh, waiting for the day that I was gonna get in a fight with a drug biker gang and it never materialized. Over a slow progression, I, I spent $1,000 on holsters. I mean, I had every type of holster you possibly could find. Didn't change guns, inside waistband, smaller back, uh, paddle holster, tried everything, concealed carry shirt, and it just nothing worked. I got heavily involved into teaching, and I'm one of those people that more information is better. So after doing my homework, I found a gun called CAR, K-A-H-R. Um, it's made out of a, a group in the uh, East Coast. It takes the, the best of both worlds. It's a six hour and a clock, if you will, put together. It's two different guns. They just trial and error. They came up with a very unique product. It's probably one of the best concealed carry guns on the market these days. What I actually carry is a, is a car, a car PM Polymicro 9. It's a carbon fiber gun with a little metal in it, but the beauty of it is it weighs 16 ounces loaded with seven rounds of nine millimeter. Weighs, weighs right at a pound. And the other thing is I carry on my back right pocket in a concealed carry holster made out of a, of a guy in Smyrna, Georgia. Looks like a big wallet, very easy to access. You can carry it around all day long and no one will ever know you're carrying it. In Texas, it has to be a concealed weapon. It's a concealed handgun license. 
And the, what the state considers concealed is readily discernible. So the gun cannot be easily detected or readily discernible. My whole concept on concealed carry with the, with the setup I have is it's, it's my business. No one knows I'm carrying it unless I share that information. And when I do need it, if it ever comes down to, I've got it in a position that I know and I can get to that gun very easily. As people want to have contact with me after they take the class, I'm really open. I will give you my email address and my cell phone when you take the class. I get great questions months, years, even after they've taken my class. We can't cover everything, but I am readily available. It's actually a good thing because I get emails from students. I've got one I got from a student two years ago and I use it every class. It's a great tale about he got pulled over in another state and he didn't know the laws of that state. He actually got off for a $123 ticket, but he could have gone to jail. The course of fire is 50 rounds, three distances, uh, 20 rounds from three yards, 20 rounds from seven yards, and 10 rounds from 15 yards. Uh, maximum score on the target is possible 250. You've got what they call the B27 target, comes in one of four colors. Uh, this test is very liberal, it's very lenient. Uh, scoring, basically you have X marks center mass, preferred uh, shot point. Eight, nine, and 10 are the center mass is five points of bullet, max score. Seven ring is gonna be four points of bullet, and then you have head shots and what they consider non-vitals of shoulders at three points of bullet. Basically to pass, you need a score of 175. So simply put, you put 35 inside the eight, you're an automatic pass. You can miss the target 15 times, have a gun malfunction, or not hit the target 15 times, as long as you've got a score of 175 to 250, it's an automatic pass. The state of Texas does allow you three chances to pass this proficiency. Um, very easy, two different types of tests. You can shoot it with a revolver, and you can only carry a revolver for the, for the term of the license, or you can qualify with a semi-automatic. If you do shoot with a semi-automatic in the state of Texas, you can legally carry both. But to legally carry any form of handgun on your license, you do have to qualify with a semi-automatic. And we do cover that in the proficiency section of the class, and it's a very easy test as you can see. Simply put, aim center mass and be safe, no problems. I'm a CHL instructor, obviously I carry. Um, the point of it is it, it has to be uh, not readily discernible. In Texas, you have what they call a concealed handgun license. The gun cannot be visible or readily discernible, or it's what a reasonable, rational person would be determined to outload a gun. I've, I've had 100 different guns, 100 different holsters. Um, over the years of carrying, I've worked the system out that works for me. Obviously, my gun is on me. What I do carry is a car, Car Poly Micro 9. Uh, my gun is here in my back right pocket, and it's in what they call a concealed carry holster. I have a 9 millimeter. This whole thing weighs 17 ounces, fully loaded, and it comes in a wallet holster. The holster stays in the, in the pant, but the gun comes out. Super lightweight, super small rig, great for concealed carry. This works for me. The gun's on my body at all times, but when I'm in my car, I don't leave the center console. Why? Because I want my gun in case I need to get to it. So, does this fit the bill of concealed carry? Absolutely. Is this the right one for you? No. Do whatever you want to do, but make sure you have a system that works for you. And from trial, from trial and error and buying a bunch of guns and a bunch of holsters, um, yes, I like my full-size camera, but it's a very hard gun to carry and conceal. Um, there are a million options out there of holsters and ways to carry concealed, but for me, this is what I call my teaching gun or my concealed carry gun.